Welcome. Let's take a little journey to our gradebook preferences so that we can set up our semester gradebooks. Won't you come along? First, click on Grading, and then click on Categories. This is the first place where we have to change our settings. If you set up the categories in the first semester, and you're now starting the second semester, then much of this will already be done, and you can simply check that it's correct. But before we start making any changes, click on the Course Selector button, change this second dropdown to the full academic year, click that, and then you can click on any class in that semester. So I'll click on this course. It's important that we change that full academic year, the second dropdown to the full year, because otherwise some of these settings don't take effect. Let's start at the top, freshman, sophomore, formative. Click the pencil on the far right. If you don't teach any freshman or sophomore classes, choose inactive, click save, and you're ready to move on to the next line. Otherwise, make sure active is selected. Next, click on this dropdown that says select classes. Leave all of these boxes blank if you only teach freshmen and sophomores. But maybe some of your classes have freshmen sophomores, but other classes have junior seniors. In that case, choose just the freshman sophomore classes. So let's pretend that my honors physics is freshman sophomores. I got both blocks semester one. Now I've got both blocks semester two as well. I'll click on the white space below, and now that pop up goes away. Next, once you've got the correct selection, and again, leave it blank if you only teach this age, freshmen, sophomores. Next, click on the middle tab, Assignment Defaults. Change this first dropdown to points if it's on percent. We have to use points, not percent. Next, you might notice a value here. If you've ever created an assignment in PowerSchool, that same value shows up by default right here. So when you make new homework, Unit 5, Day 1 homework, you can still click and change the number of points, but it's really, really nice for that to be auto-filled with a convenient value. If a lot of your homeworks are five points, you can put five right here. Unfortunately, there's no option to leave it blank. If you leave this blank, or if you try to put zero, PowerSchool will automatically fill 10 points by default in this box. So it'll always be up to us to make sure we've got the correct number of points. Once you select a value, you're finished with this category. Click on Save. If you make that inactive, it will disappear when you click Save. Follow that same procedure for every one of the four categories that you see on your screen. Here's that procedure again. Choose between inactive and active. Select the correct classes. Click the middle tab. Set it to points, not percent, and pick a value for the number of points. We're done with step one. Congratulations. To move on to the next step, click on your name in the bottom left corner, then click on settings. Next, click on traditional grade calculation. The calculation that we're setting up here tells PowerSchool that the term is worth 80% and the exam is worth 20%. Right now, I see both semesters. I'm looking only for my second semester classes, and so I want to declutter this. To just look at second semester or just look at first semester, click on the course selector icon in the middle. Change the second dropdown to the particular semester that you care about and then choose any class at random. Okay, and now I see just semester two. I'll use this as my sample class. It's my planning period. I click on this bar to see the details. Nothing has been configured or set up. 
So we'll start with S2. That's everything. That gives 80% to T2, it gives 20% to E2, and S2 is the final score that goes on their report card. Okay, let me click the pencil on the far right to get started. Nothing is set up. Choose this dropdown and change it to Term Waiting. On the next dropdown, choose T2. For the weight, type in 80. Click the plus over here on the right to add a new category. Again, change the dropdown to Term Waiting. The only other thing to wait is the exam, so choose E2, and that counts for 20%, so put 20 under wait. Then click save in the bottom right corner. My term ha terms have been weighted properly. I've got 80% for this and 20% for this to give the final grade, S2 or S1 for the first semester. Okay, let's move on to the second, uh, the second entry, T2. Click the pencil to get started. This T2, the term, is made up of two categories, formative and summative. So click this dropdown and now choose category weighting. Click the second dropdown and choose the first category that you need for that class, formative and then enter the value you see here in the name. Freshman, sophomore, formative should count for 40%, and so I type a 40 as the weight. These names have the percentage here to make it easier for us to uh, know exactly what goes into this box. Okay, to add the second uh, entry, the second category weighting, I hit the plus right here on the right side. I click the first dropdown, I choose category weighting. I click the second dropdown. I find the other category that I need for that class. So that's freshman, sophomore, formative. This should be summative, freshman, sophomore. And I type in the weighting that you see right here beside, uh, in the category name. Then I click save. At this point, I'm finished with this class. You don't need to click the pencil for E2, and the reason is that the particular calculation doesn't matter. You will only put a single grade column into E2. Specifically, you only put the semester exam into the E2 gradebook. So it doesn't matter if it's points or category because there's only one assignment in that part of your gradebook. So this doesn't matter, it's all set, you have nothing to do with E2, you can leave it like this at total points. I'm finished with this class. Do this same process for the other classes in that semester, and once you've finished, you are done configuring your gradebook. You've made it to the finish line, thanks for watching this video, and have a great semester.